It's so nice sitting in the sun in autumn, about 20 degrees Celsius, but in principle, I'm here to work because today is G-Class off-road training. But today it's not only just about off-road driving. I attend a training session to learn how to do it properly. Our workhorse, the new Mercedes G-Class, is well prepared for this. With a ground clearance of 24.1 cm, a slope angle of 31 degrees at the front and 30 degrees at the back, and a ramp angle of 26 degrees, it drives through everywhere. Also helpful are the 422 horsepower from the 8-cylinder of our G500, the standard 4-wheel drive as well as a weighting depth of up to 70 cm. It doesn't matter what driving event I take part in, there are always instructors. But how do you get such a job? The answer I usually give is why not? So the thing is I participate um, at, um, uh, at the women's rally, so the Aisha de Gazelle, um, because they asked uh, employees, so female employees, if they would like to participate. And so we took a veto and uh, drove to, uh, through the uh, desert of Morocco. And so after that experience, uh, I brought myself an own uh, race car, so a G-Class, of course. And um, so I participated a lot of rallies and off-road uh, races. And so it's, it's the next step, um, because when you're driving off-road, so as a, as a passion, it's yeah, why not teach people um, and give them the uh, inspiration to do off-road in not the same way, so not in racing, but just to have the experience to do uh, the off-road stuff. So my main goal um, as an instructor on a driving event is just to tell the people how fun it is to do the off-road. Um, and also what, you know, the thing is that when you do off-road and you drive with a car and you normally you do that on the street and it's all fine and, and everything. So, and then you took um, somehow the same car, just like a G-Class and you go in the forest and you do, you know, stuff you never expected the a car uh, could do this. So, and that's the thing I would like to um, teach the people about and to tell the people about and also to give them um, security that they are able to manage you know uphill downhill and also when they would like to go through water and all that stuff that they really feel secure when they're doing off-road so we offer on-road training and off-road training and um, there are people, they say, oh, I'm not pretty sure if I can do the trainings, if I'm good enough and all that stuff. But the main thing is just what I tell the people then is just, just think about it. It's something to have fun, to get more security in your driving skills. And it's not about how good I am and it's not a competition. So it's just, if you see, in, in our film, so there's the major drift and it's all, whoa, and it's pretty amazing. So you look at it and say, wow. And it's not our expectation as an instructor that they can do it the same. So it's more that we would like to have the people to have fun and to enjoy the things you can do with the car. And important is even if the car starts sliding a bit while going downhill, don't panic. The training area is located in a gravel pit. And so, in addition to a beautiful blue leg in the middle, there are plenty of interesting ascents and descents as well as water crossings. Right next to it, muddy forest roads invite to have fun and on top there are plenty of slopes to conquer. The range of participants of such a training is wide. From the real off-road fan with experience to the buyer of a G-Class who just wants to try out what his vehicle can do. But they all have one thing in common. Fun while driving. As an instructor, you not only have to instruct people how to drive. It also is a thing like 
a personal connection. And that's, that means that instructors always can tell nice stories. There was um, a father with her, with his girl, and the girl had, you know, pretty a pretty new driver license. And she was just like, oh, she was a little bit scared, and, and he just asked her all the time, and she and he pushed her, just yeah, you have to drive, you have to drive, you have to drive. And then we just convinced her to do it, and she had so much fun that. Um, they didn't change the driver what we usually do and she was just like no I, I you know you have to wait and so the it ends that the father didn't do anything at all instead of just sitting next to her and it was just like oh okay got it so this was one thing so yeah the thing is when we have that that sessions and that trainings and I do a lot of uh, individual trainings it really gives me a lot back to see how how much fun the people have when they do, you know, the off-road driving and they, you know, have a have a hill which is really, you know, huge and they manage it to, to go uphill and also when it's just go down like hell and it's just like and you, you see the people yell and it was whoa, it's just like in a roller coaster and how much fun they have. Watching the G-Class slowly digging through the terrain, you might think it's boring. But this is so wrong. Even though we're just crawling slowly through the woods, off-road is always fun. In addition, taking it easy not only protects the material, but also makes the journey safer and easier to control. Every now and then I have the feeling that one of the hills might be too much for the G-Class. But that only lasts a moment. And after the technology again showed what's possible, I leaned back relaxed and impressed. The G-Class offers three different diff locks as standard. And now I'm going to ask the instructor, why is this on board? G-Class is the only um, car which has as a standard um, three diff locks. So there's the middle, the back and the front diff lock. So means if you have um, a differential so a differential is for that that you when you do a curve and it's and the turn it's that the the wheel which is in um, in the inside has not the same um, way <laughs> has not the same way as the outside wheel so means that to the outside wheel it needs to go a little bit more and there's more power to the outside wheel so and in the in off-road we don't need to have it because if you have you know a lower traction and all that stuff and you you, you push the whole um, power to that wheel so it turns and it makes no sense because you don't have any traction anymore which means that you don't go forward anymore yeah that's somehow a little bit boring because you're you're not pushing forward so means that we would like to have somehow um, that the differential don't work anymore, which calls as a diff lock. And um, it's just like if you have a Lego car, it's just there was, you know, a stick and then there was the wheels and the wheels are just, you know, no matter what, turning at the same speed, whatever. So and exactly um, this way would, we would like to um, have with a diff lock means that we would like to spread the power to the uh, front axle and also to the rear, rear axle in the same kind of way and also we would like to um, have the power on the right wheel and the power on the wheel with the right, uh, the left wheel um, so it's different so it's on the left and the right wheel and then on, on the left wheel at the same kind of speed so no matter what if there's traction or not so it just turns at the same speed this is what a diff lock is for so what we would do like right now, because we have here a hill, it's a little bit slippy, so we activate um, the middle differential and also the back. And then we just, you know, go slowly and smoothly uphill. And then we just see now a little bit, you know, like a push. And then we know, okay, the diff lock is in because, you know, driving off-road has a, had a lot to do with the um, feeling in your body, how the the car reacts and all that stuff and how the surface just um, moves the car and so 
Okay, now we just did it and it was pretty smoothly without turning wheels and everything. So now we deactivate the diff locks because we don't need it anymore. And it's all the time that you don't activate your diff lock the whole time. Yeah, it's, you just play a little bit with it. So what I would like to show you right now is how the turning circle uh, changes um, when we have different uh, diff locks in. So we right now look for uh, space to do it. There we go. So, so now I drive in a circle and I try not to steer too much with the steering wheel. So there you go, there's our circle. So now I activate without steering anymore uh, the middle diff rock. So and we now see the tracks and the car is moving without moving the steering wheel a little bit more outside because we need to have more space. And also now we activate the real rear diff lock. And now the circle gets more wider. Because we don't have the, the differential, um, how they need to work anymore. So, and then we have the last one. So and now you feel it also on the steering wheel that something it's not so smooth anymore so it's a little bit yeah it's harder to steer and to keep the steering wheel at the same position. So and when we just go um, when we have you know when we go in the in the forest and we need to have really you know hard turns it's pretty hard to do it with the third one. So normally you, you need the third one if it's really, you know, when it's straight and it's really high, it's really a huge hill, huge uh, uphill or downhill section, or when we, just like I do it right now, when we go through water. Because through water, I don't know uh, what is under the water. And because of this, I need to have the maximum traction I can get because just to avoid to get stuck because otherwise you know the co-pilot needs to go out and just push the car. So that's it one day off-road training with the new Mercedes G-Class and what I really do like with the training is nevertheless what you think how experienced you are you will always learn something new and even if you're not so experienced this is great fun.